And if you missed this, folks, uh, Ohio State was supposed to play North Carolina in the CBS Sports Classic on Saturday, this coming Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, And Kentucky was going to play UCLA. The matchups have been switched that Ohio State will now play UCLA. North Carolina will now play Kentucky. The reasoning given was that switching them will more closely align COVID-19 testing protocols Mm. between the competing programs and their respective conferences. This this Mm. reads like another deal where if you just blame it on player safety or or say we're just looking out for the player safety, you can do literally anything and nobody can question it. There were some rumors that UCLA didn't want to duck Kentucky or that Kentucky wanted to duck UCLA. Whatever, whatever way you want to look at that, I was worried that somebody's Carol- ducking somebody. Somebody's I can't ducking. Out. Somebody's because, getting ducked. Listen, you can't blame it on the protocols, <laughs> but then all be in the same gym and the same locker rooms and the same like coughing on the same yeah. balls. Well, uh, the, the, the like what what they're saying is that Kentucky and Carolina will be out of the gym, obviously, by the next tip yeah, of, of the four fifteen game. Sure they'll and they'll sanitize every square. And inch they'll never cross. And, they'll never cross paths. We and, saw this when we were. And in MLB Nashville. players aren't going to spit this season. And also, they're not going to be in the gym at the same same time. So, yeah. you know, that there is an argument to be made there. But at the end of the day, I was worried that North Carolina was ducking because, like you mentioned, the 25-point you know loss last year in the Dean Dome. I reached out. Carolina wanted Ohio State. They were not the duckers. They are actually upset about having to play. Mm. Not upset, but they Which are is exactly like, what they would say. Uh, no. What, you what know they, what? You, I, no. I was down to admit the ducking. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like let's <laughs> duck. Let's get out. Let's get out of here and duck. And they're like, no, this is not a duck. No. We wanted to play Ohio State. We match up well with them. We have the bigs. Kentucky is a, you know, uh, I think I can't remember the right term they use, but basically saying they're a wild card would probably be the, the easiest way to describe what mm-hmm. they said, which is we don't even know what what version of these kids we're going to see. Uh, so it wasn't Carolina ducking. It wasn't Ohio State ducking because uh, Chris Holman. It owns certainly wasn't Ohio State. Yeah, Ohio State. It was not it wasn't, of it wasn't Chris Williams, Holman. No. The most likely ducking going on. If there is duck, if there is indeed ducking, <laughs> <laughs> we have is, not confirmed. We cannot confirm or nor deny if ducking is happening. But if yeah. it is happening, um, it's happening. It's probably John Calipari because I also believe Tate. This might be a semi hot take. I believe UCLA is the best team in this event. I Ooh. still believe in UCLA, and that's why I'm upset that Ohio State now has to play UCLA because I believe in both of these teams. I believe in Ohio State. I believe in UCLA. UCLA is unranked. Ohio State's in the 20s. Whatever. Whoever loses this game is going to be tagged with the fraud label. <laughs> and it's probably going to be Ohio State. Because yeah. uh, I think UCLA is very good. I think UCLA loses that at San Diego State. It was a true road game to start the season. Didn't have two starters in that Didn't game. Didn't have two starters. Also, uh, like all the, the nonsense going on in California with practicing, not practicing. Like we talked about that in, the, in all the offseason stuff. Like I don't know how much that matters. But at the same time, like it matters. Th- this is the yeah. one year I'm willing to listen to excuses. Like this is the one year... I will, I will listen to that stuff. Then they go to three overtimes with Pepperdine, and you know we've been doing all we can on this program to tell people Pepperdine is not bad. Pepperdine is a good basketball team, have very good players. Um, but I think most of the country sees that as like, oh my god, UCLA loses to San Diego State, almost loses to Pepperdine. Is this team even good? And yep. I think they are. They just beat Marquette their last game. Marquette is has two top ten wins already. Mm-hmm. Um, Only team in the country. I think I think UCLA is a very good basketball team, and I'm worried about Ohio State playing them. And uh, and I think that that makes a lot of sense that John Calipari knew this too, because John Calipari. I mean, this would be two years in a row where John Calipari is going to lose in the CBS Sports Classic, and then say in the press conference, "We just played the best team <laughs> in the country." Absolutely. <laughs> which, which is what what he's going to do, because I think UCLA was going to smoke Kentucky if they played each other. 